Welcome to the inside of Becky's van. Now Becky has a tri-flow filter system fitted to her van, exactly the same as I've got fitted to my van. And the tri-flow water system basically gives you bottled water on tap. This is Becky's water coming out of her tap. Quite a nice flow. Now let's take a look at what comes out of my tap. And I'll tell you the difference between mine and Becky's. It is quite substantial. Allow Becky to demonstrate. She's patiently trying to get water out of my tap. It's like getting blood out of a stone, I tell you. <laughs> so that's the flow coming out of my tap. As you can see, it's a lot different. So the only difference between my filter and Becky's filter is Becky's filter is brand new, whereas mine is quite a few months old. And I actually ignored the email telling me that I have to change the filter. I was being a bit of a cheapskate. Well, I've got to say we had a lovely lunch and I've now moved the van outside. It's such a beautiful day, why wouldn't I? So now back to me tap. Now my filter system is made by TriFlow. It's a water purifying system and I absolutely adore this. It, the water really does taste crisp and clean. It's just like drinking bottled water. But you do have to change these filters every six months and I've had this filter um, probably a little bit too long than I should have done. I'm trying to stretch it out to see what happens if you do leave the filter in for more than six months. Basically, this is what happens. <laughs> and the water here at the barn is quite chalky, I do believe. So uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to change one of these tri-flow filters. To do that, I need to remove all my drawers because the filter is the other side of these drawers. So if I take these out, You'll be able to see what I mean. Oh, dropped it. Oh, snacks. I found Becky's hidden snack drawer. Didn't know they was in there. I'm going to take them all out. Actually, there's fruit and veg in this bottom drawer, so I'm going to take all the drawers out. Now last time I changed this filter I did spill a little bit of water but not a lot so I'm quite confident it'll be the same today. Right so we're all ready so I'll bring you down and I'll show you the filter and how simple this is to change. Right so hopefully you can see the filter in there you can just see it. Now to change the filter it really is a simple system all I've got to do is twist the case. Oh, before I add this, <laughs> I better turn the water off and let any excess pressure out. I'll just turn the pump off, turn the tap on. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of pressure in now. So uh, if I turn the pump back on, you'll see it doesn't even come out. That's with the pump running. So I'll turn the water off. Turn the pump off, turn the tap on to release all the pressure because this has got an accumulator valve fitted to this water system and the accumulator keeps the water under pressure. So if I don't release the pressure, as soon as I undo the filter, it's all just going to spurt out everywhere. Glad I remembered that. Right, it stops now and I've just got a little tiny drip. So now, <laughs> now I can take the filter off. Like I was saying, to remove the filter, it really is quite simple. I simply turn this, and it's like a bayonet fitting. So I turn it, give it a little wiggle, and the filter should come out. Just really carefully, a bit of slush of water. There we go. There we are. Right, I've got some extra drawer runners now. <laughs> that is it. So there's our filter. The inside here is the filter and a lot of water. So I'll need to pour this out. Just pour this out into the sink. So, see if there's any residue in there. Nope. Let's have a look at the filter itself. Obviously it's going to be a different colour to the new one. It's a bit darker, that's just about it really. There's not much difference in colour. 
nothing in there either it's not too bad there you go that's the filter removed so to replace the filter it's just a matter of taking it out of the packaging there's a couple of O seals on there make sure they're intact yeah look at the difference in colour quite a big difference in colour quite a significant difference I think and uh yeah, it's definitely got some grime on it. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that in half and have a look inside it, have a look at the cross-sectional of it. Just, just purely for shits and giggles, really. Let's see what the difference is. So I'm going to lift this up like that. Make sure it's located properly in the holder. And then slide that back over the O-ring. Turn it, lock it into place. And that's it, it's done. Turn our water back on. Let's put that in there, it's dripping everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully this makes a difference and it's not my pump that's at fault. Turn the pump back on. Oh dear, my oh god, yeah that made a difference, it just got splattered. Well maybe there is a problem with my pump. It's taken a while. Oh. Well, maybe I've got a blockage somewhere. Maybe it's not my filter that's blocked. Oh no, here we go. Just took a while to get there. There you are, that's better. We're back to full flow again. <laughs> Much better. That makes a good thumbnail, wouldn't it? So much better. Yeah, back to full pressure. Ooh. Right, I'm going to cut this open and see what it's like inside. Let's go back into the workshop. First, I've got to put all these drawers back. So here we are back in the workshop. Right, I've got an exhaust, I've got a filter. Let's cut them open and see what's inside. <laughs> it does look a bit grotty, look. You can see all the blackness on it. Ooh, it's full of water still. How can we cut this open? Now remember, <laughs> that is pretty disgusting. That is drinking water out of a tap. Oh, it's, it looks like carbon of some sort inside. There you go. That's the inside of a triflow filter. Looks like it's two stage. So there's a ceramic outer edge and a carbon inner core. Fascinating. But look at that, that's grim. It's all, all this black water that's come out of it. Or is that just where I've cut it? Someone at the door. Mm. Took a bit of a tap. Well, you can see all the, the grime is on the outside. The inside part is really clean still. So I can imagine the bit that's blocked has got to be this black bit. Yeah, that ain't breaking. Interesting. Yeah, the ceramic piece or the, I don't know, it's like pottery of some sort. Is that 
porous. Yeah, it must be because it's sealed at both ends. Yeah, so the black bit is is porous because it's basically sealed at both ends. So the water has to pass through this black part, which I assume is some kind of carbon filter. So you've got the ceramic outer filter and the inner carbon filter. Yeah, that's definitely porous. Let's pour some water in here and see if it comes out. Okay, so let's see what happens when we pour water on the inside of this. What comes out? Is it porous? Yes, yeah, so I'm kind of assuming that this is the part that was blocked because I've poured water into the top and it's staying there. It's not really drying. Oh, it's going. No, it's going down slowly. Let's try it again. That is slow. Yeah, it's definitely going down. So this is porous. This is a porous substance of some sort. How are we going to test this? I'm quite sure. It'll probably just run off of that, won't it? Yeah, I wonder if you can back flush these like they do swimming pool filters. <laughs> probably not a good idea. So there you go. That's what's inside a tri-flow filter tap or the filter anyway, and the tap I'm 100% happy with, and so is everyone else in the barn. Just about everyone I know has brought one of these taps, so if you're interested in buying one of these taps, I will of course leave a link in the description of this video, purely for your convenience. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, found it mildly entertaining, slightly informative. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please do consider subscribing. I really do appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, ta for now.